reflexive pronouns. A reflexive pronoun is used when the subject and the object of a sentence refer to the same person or thing. In such a case, the object is considered as the reflexive pronoun. Let us learn about reflexive pronouns with the help of some examples. First example is, the boy hurt himself. In this example, the subject is boy and the object is himself. Both the subject and object refer to the same person, that is boy. Therefore, himself is a reflexive pronoun. The next example is, Bunty and Cookie bought themselves costumes for the fancy dress competition. Here, observe that the object is themselves and the subject is Bunty and Cookie. Both object and subject refer to the same people, that is Bunty and Cookie. Hence, themselves is a reflexive pronoun. Some more examples of reflexive pronouns are myself, herself, oneself, itself, ourselves, yourselves, themselves, etc. Among all these reflexive pronouns, the words ending in self are in singular form, while the words ending in selves are in plural form. Yay. Note that we can use reflexive pronouns when the action done by the subject of a sentence reflects back on the subject or affects the subject only and nobody else. For example, Chintu prepared himself for the examination. In this example, the subject is Chintu and the action done by the subject is prepared. This action reflected back or affected Chintu only and nobody else. So, we have used the reflexive pronoun himself. We also use reflexive pronouns to emphasize that someone did something alone or without any help from anyone else. The preposition by is used with these reflexive pronouns. For example, Raju completed the science project by himself. Here, the reflexive pronoun himself is used with the preposition by to emphasize that the subject Raju has completed his project alone and without help from anyone else. We use reflexive pronouns when we want to clarify which person or thing we are talking about. In such situations, the preposition comes before the reflexive pronouns. For example, Cookie was talking to herself. Here, the reflexive pronoun herself is used with the preposition to. It clarifies that the subject Cookie and the reflexive pronoun herself refer to the same person. Also, the preposition to comes before herself. A reflexive pronoun is not used when it is clear which person we are talking about. For example, 
students are not allowed to bring their cell phones with them to school. In this example, we have used them instead of themselves because it is clear that them refers to students only and nobody else. Also, a reflexive pronoun is not used when we describe actions that we do to ourselves usually. For example, Pinky dressed herself and went to school. Here, herself is not required in this sentence as we are describing an action done by Pinky to herself as usual. Hence, the sentence should be Pinky dressed and went to school. Note that we do not use a reflexive pronoun when the subject and the object of a sentence are different persons or things. For example, we do not say we talked to himself. We say we talked to him instead.